Good afternoon and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 17th of October 2019 and the time has just gone 12.45 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is one of my old favourites, Palladium. Uh, the metal has hit yet another all-time high today, um, which is quite remarkable considering that um, what's going on in global financial markets. There aren't many financial markets or indeed commodities that are hitting all-time highs and yet Palladium uh, I've seen a string of all-time highs uh, in, the, in the past year or so, and today is yet another example of one of those all-time highs. So it really does say a lot about the sentiment in the market when it's hit another, yet another all-time high. Um, if you take a quick look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see that positive momentum is pushing higher. So the, the increase in price we're seeing on the, on, on, in terms of price action is being confirmed by this, the steady increase in positive momentum. So it's very clear that the momentum is with the buyers. Um, so if you do manage to get a press on higher from here, we're currently trading in around 17.34. If you do manage to press on higher from here, we could be looking at targeting 1800. Um, it's the next big kind of you know bigish number to look out for to, to the upside. Uh, so that could be the medium term target should the kind of wider upper trend continue. If you do see any pullback uh, in the metal, we could find some support come from this region here in around 1700. And, you know, it's one of it's it's um it's an area of of uh, of, uh, of consolidation uh in, in the in the past 48 hours. But even if you drop below 70 numbers, we could be looking at heading back down towards this area here in around um 1675, 1670. There's quite a few. Uh, quite a few areas of resistance as the market was pressing higher and it's only really if you kind of take out this area here down around kind of 1600 uh, it's a big it's a big number but on top of that on a few occasions that area acted as support so if that area acted as support in the past it makes it likely that it could act as support in the near term so the, the big picture is the wider the wider view is very much to the upside but what I want, what I found what interesting about this chart is that we could be in for a bit of a near-term correction. We could be in for a bit of a pullback, and I'll tell you why. Because if you take a look at the price action here, this blue line here is the 50-day moving average. And from time to time, the market goes on a massive run, uh, creates new all-time highs. The sentiment's very, very, very bullish, and the gap between the price action and the 50-day moving average gets, gets, gets quite stretched. And every time, time to time, markets stop moving straight lines. Every time to time, you are going to see a bit of a pullback. So, if you take a look along here, when the market was pressing higher in in, uh, in late 2018 or, and uh, into in the late 2018, we can see that the, the market wasn't too far away from this 50 moving average. And then we we had, we had a period whereby the market shot off from the well away and pulled well away from the 50 moving average. We had a correction, similar situation here. Uh, and now, uh, and not, not a fairly similar scenario here, whereby there's a fairly sizable gap between the price action and the 50 moving average, which and then not too long after that we saw the market move lower. And now we're in a similar position as well, whereby as the market was gaining ground from the sell off in August, it was not too far away from the 50 moving average, but the gap between the two is widening. So that suggests that, okay, we could be in for a bit of a correction, we could be in for a bit of a pullback. And if you take a look at today's candle, obviously we're only kind of halfway through. The, uh, the trading session on the uh, the 17th of October 2019, but what we can notice almost straight away is that the body of the candle, which is this, is uh, is is quite sm is very very small, and the um, the the, uh, the wicks are quite long. So that is again a classic example of a long wick and on a candle denotes indecision. Not to say there's no guarantees that we're definitely going to have a reversal or or a change of price action, but just indecision. And obviously we're going to marry up the fact that the market's at an all-time high. The gap between the 50 moving average and the price is now quite stretched. We could be in for a bit of a pullback in the near term. Uh, depending how this candle actually going to plays out today, uh, this could this keep an eye for potential formation. So what, what this could turn out to be, it could turn out to be a spinning top, which is, is kind of a textbook example of it here. Uh, the market was pushing higher. We had quite a long body on the, the we had quite a long uh, wicks on this particular candle, but notice how the, how the body of the candle itself, the main portion of it, is actually quite small, followed by a move to the downside. So the possibility, depending on whereabouts um, the um, the price actually finishes up, we could see something similar here, whereby the price, the, the closing price and the open price aren't too far away from each other, and they're kind of based in around the center of the candle. 
that could be a sign that the market is a, is about to um is about to turn over on itself. But that would need to be confirmed by then actually seeing the price actually edge edge then a bit lower. Obviously, if you're going to set another all-time high tomorrow, we can then discount that theory and we can look to can potentially continue on in the wider upward trend. If you are going to be trading Palladium or quite frankly any markets uh, in the next 24 hours, just please be mindful tomorrow that we have GDP numbers off in China. Obviously, China has been central to what's going on in the financial markets recently in terms of China slowing down and uh, and also the US-China trade talks. Uh, that's all for me. For me. Uh, thank you very much.